got it. Money ain't a thing if I got it. Money. What's going on you guys? We got another video for you guys today. So today we have the 2020 Yamaha R6 back at the shop. My garage, AKA my house. We're gonna be installing a lowering link on this bike and a adjustable kickstand. And it is the adjustable one. So he got the lowering link for the bike, adjustable kickstand, and this is how she looks right now. So one good thing to do is or to have is a stand, obviously. Another thing to have is a jack, so you can lift the rear tire up. So yeah, these two right here, lowering links, they're adjustable. They basically replacing that one right there. That one, and that one. So I might have to take this off. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun day. So first of all, this is not a tutorial. Just so you guys know. All right, so we're gonna be taking off this little bolt first, this little bracket that's right here, uh, right here. So we can have access to this nut right here. There's these nuts here, right here. Oh shit, right there. One there, one there. So you gotta take these off first and then hit the bolt out. Word of advice, do it from the other side first. Take off the nuts off the bolt first and then Go from there. It's a little ghetto, but it'll do. A smart way to do it is you put a jack, obviously, however you gotta do it, that middle base right there, you lift it up with a jack. However you gotta do it, I had to use a brick because I didn't wanna take the exhaust off and all that. But um, you lift that middle base up and it should be this easy to take it off. Like that. This bolt actually has a little bit of tread, so you don't wanna you don't wanna mess that up and mess up the actual bolt. You install it just like that. And then this is this black piece is what you use to adjust it afterwards. You gotta change the kickstand every time you lower a bike because obviously this is the stock one, so it's a little higher. Let's just get the spring off first, of course, and then take this bolt off right here. Take the spring off, obviously. Take the washer off. No. Just like that, it comes right off. Here. This the same way, if you want to do it the same way, obviously. Just there. Came in kind of sideways. So. Just like that. There we go. Back on, not back on. There we go. And that's it. And then for now, I think I'm gonna do. Let's see what the regular height is. So that's the regular height. So let's do. Put it at least to here for now. Put it low, see how it looks. Washers that I got, they worked. So let me show you guys real quick what I ended up doing. So basically I put some washers in this side right here on both sides. I put three washers on this side. This side has two, this side has three, but that's the only way that I could do it where it now is not touching the, uh, see he's not touching this nut on both sides. Well guys, so I just finished the bike. Put it to a certain height that it doesn't tip over as easy. A little bit too low, but we'll see. Once he sees it and once he sits on it, um, 
we'll see what he what he thinks about it and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up putting the bolt on the plastics on the fender there at the bottom, and then take her out and see how it looks. guys i think that's it that's about it thank you guys for coming back for another video i think it's a little low a lot lower than how it was to be honest i mean look at that it's almost touching the floor so i might do some adjustments there but we'll see what happens that's it for today's videos thank you guys for tuning in hope you guys like the video check out all the other videos that we've done and stay tuned for some more vlogs we out.